To get to the tutorials, select Load World and press the A button. Once the preview screens have loaded, you can scroll left and right by using either the directional pad, the left analog stick, or the triggers. Tutorial 1 is always right beside the empty world. The goal of Tutorial 1 is to get your Kodugai, that floating thing on the bottom left, to that castle on the horizon at the top right. To start programming your Kodu, press the back button to get to the tool menu to begin editing. Before we can edit the world, we have to learn how to move around in it. The thing in the middle of the screen when you enter editing mode is this upside down cone. This is your cursor in the game and it is used to select things. The viewpoint will always be centered on this cursor. This cursor can be moved around with the left control stick. Notice how the cursor follows the terrain heights and does not pass through the terrain. It will always stay on top. Try moving the cursor around and then bring it back to the grass area so we can see it better. If you push up and down on the right control stick, it will change the angle you are viewing at. If you push the stick left and right, it will rotate the viewing angle around the cursor. Notice that there is a marker showing which way is north at the bottom right of the screen. This is a good reference point in the future. To zoom in and out, press the left and right bumpers. By holding down the left bumper, you can zoom out to the maximum range. And the right bumper makes you zoom in the same way. And now for a quick review of the controls we just learned. Left stick moves the cursor around. Moving the right stick left and right rotates you around the cursor. Moving the right stick up and down changes your viewing angle on the cursor. The left bumper zooms out, the right bumper zooms in.